Scientists at the Large Hadron Collider have just detected something remarkable. A pair of top quarks in the aftermath of colliding lead atoms. This isn't just another particle physics finding. It's the first time this specific quark-antiquark -quark pair has been observed in a heavy ion collision. More importantly, it provides compelling evidence that all six quark flavors existed during the universe's very first microseconds, swimming in the primordial quark-gluon plasma. In this video, we'll explore what exactly happened at CERN that led to this discovery. Why detecting top quarks in lead ion collisions is such a big deal. What this tells us about the early universe and how it reshapes our understanding of fundamental physics. So without further ado, let's get started. For the first time ever, scientists observed top quark pair production in lead lead collisions, the most energy dense collisions studied so far. Top quarks are the heaviest elementary particles we know roughly as massive as a gold atom. They're also incredibly short-lived, decaying in about 10 to the minus 25th seconds, faster than light can cross a proton. So, how did scientists spot them? Rather than seeing the quarks directly, the Atlas team identified their decay products, a specific signal called the dilepton decay channel. In this process, each top quark decays into a bottom quark and a W boson, and each W boson further decays into a neutrino and either an electron or a muon. This precise signature helped them detect top quarks amid a sea of particles with remarkable precision. The observation cleared the 5 sigma threshold, with a 5.03 sigma significance, meaning there's less than a one in a million chance this result was a fluke. That makes this a confirmed discovery and not a lucky statistical anomaly. While top quark pairs had been seen before in proton lead collisions, this is the first time they've been observed in lead lead collisions, where the environment is far more extreme and similar to what existed shortly after the Big Bang. These collisions produce what's known as quark gluon plasma, a state of matter in which quarks and gluons move freely unbound from protons or neutrons. Detecting top quarks in such a chaotic environment, filled with countless other particles, is a massive technical achievement. It showcases just how far modern particle physics has come and pushes the boundaries of what we can detect in conditions that mirror the early universe. To understand why this matters, Let's take a closer look at quark-gluon plasma, or QGP. Under everyday conditions, quarks and gluons are confined within particles like protons and neutrons. But at extreme temperatures, above 2 trillion degrees Celsius, these bonds break down and quarks and gluons flow freely in a dense, fluid-like state. This is the state our universe was in about one microsecond after the Big Bang. As the universe expanded and cooled, the QGP underwent a transformation called hadronization, forming the stable particles that make up everything from stars to people. Top quarks offer a unique window into this plasma, because they decay even faster than the QGP itself forms, lasting just 10 to the negative 25th seconds versus the QGP's 10 to the negative 23rd seconds they act as probes of the very earliest stages of the plasma's formation. This latest observation confirms that top quarks can be produced in these conditions, reinforcing the idea that all six quark flavors – up, down, strange, charm, bottom, and top – existed in the primordial plasma. Each flavor interacts with the QGP differently, offering a multi-dimensional view of this early state of matter. Studying how these quarks form and decay lets scientists infer the temperature, density, and even viscosity of the QGP, clues that help refine our models of the early universe. The idea of quarks was proposed in 1964, but it wasn't until 1995 that the elusive top quark was finally discovered at Fermilab. Like today's breakthrough, 
That detection also relied on decay products and required five sigma certainty. The journey from theory to observation took decades, and now we're pushing it even further by studying top quarks in environments that simulate the Big Bang. There've been other major strides too. In 2005, experiments at RHIC revealed that quark gluon plasma behaves like an almost perfect liquid, surprising many physicists. Later, CERN's ALICE experiment showed that even smaller collisions, like proton proton ones, can produce QGP like conditions. And in 2020, charm quarks were detected in heavy ion collisions adding to the growing list of quark flavors observed in extreme environments. Each of these discoveries acts like a puzzle piece, giving us a richer view of how matter behaves under extreme conditions. By covering the spectrum of quark masses and lifespans, from the lightweight up quark to the massive top, we now have a clearer picture of what that primordial soup was really like. And the technology? We've gone from indirectly inferring particles to literally recreating early universe conditions and detecting particles that live for trillionths of a trillionth of a second. It's one of the most stunning achievements in modern science. As the Atlas team put it, this discovery paves the way for further studies of the quark gluon plasma and the physics of the early universe with top quarks. The quest to understand our origins continues, and this is a big leap forward. Thank you for watching. If you found this fascinating, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos exploring the frontiers of science. Got questions or theories? Drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear what you find most exciting about this discovery. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious about our amazing universe.